Okay, so we're going to walk through how to set up a HCC Vive Unreal Engine project, a uh, way we can use the tracking, the motion controllers, and ultimately teleporting. Um, I think this is going to be a two or three part video. It is uh, fairly complicated, um, but let's go ahead and get started. Right now you can see I have just an empty scene. We have some light and clouds, fogs, and this base plane. We have our player location start here. Um, we're going to mess with that a little bit later. But what we need to do is to create two blueprints. First, I'm going to right-click and create a blueprint class, and it's going to be a pawn, and we're going to call this the Vive Pawn. And next, I'm going to create a blueprint class, uh, and let's see, it's going to be a game mode, and this is going to be the Vive Game Mode. So with those two things, I can really kind of start building the way a, a VR-based game or VR experience works. I'm going to open up the game mode here. Um, you can see I have a few things here. And all I'm going to change right now is the default pawn class will be my Vive Pawn. Uh, and it's a head-mounted display class. That's an easy one. Great. Um, we might have to come back in later and change controller classes. But for the time being, we're going to just start with the Vive Pawn being our game mode. So I save and compile. Uh, this is something I do often. You have to save and compile everything. Um, we'll close that out. The next thing is to look um, at the Vive Pawn itself. Uh, there's absolutely nothing in here. Um, it's, it's something that we develop the game engine around. Um, we can look. There's just the viewport of what the Pawn looks like. Uh, here's a construction script, which is kind of how we start to build functions and tie them together. Um, and the event graph is the way we'll start to trigger. So we'll be using this event begin play uh, and essentially say, hey, let's, uh, let's rebuild these things uh, as soon as the game starts. Uh, but the first thing I want to do is to go back to the viewport and set up our controllers. Uh, and to do that, we're going to have to first, I'm going to close out of this. Um, and here on my computer, I'm going to go to my C drive to program x86. Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Steam VR, Resources, uh, and then Render Models. That, that's a real mouthful here, but what we have is C Drive, Program x86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common Folder, Steam VR, Resources, Render Models. And under Render Models, there's the VR Controller Vive 1.5. Um, there are a couple other styles of the VR Controller, but this is the one I'm going to use for um, my representation in Unreal. So what I need here is the OBJ file down at the bottom. I'm going to take the material file that goes with it and if I look here I have the 1.5 texture PNG. I'm going to use that and the specular PNG to make a new material. Um, this is the occlusion map. We can try that. I've actually never used that one but let's pull it in there nonetheless. I don't think the PSD file is going to work. That's a Photoshop file. So with those selected, I'm going to drag and drop them into my Unreal Engine project. It's going to take one second. There we go. And it didn't load the material file. That's fine. Hopefully it loads everything else. It's still thinking. Oh, here we go. It brought up a dialog box, and I wasn't even looking at it. Uh, I know that I want to scale this by 100 units. So I'll import all. Um, it's going to take one second. And now you can see I have some parts here. So the VR controller is my object. I'm going to double click this. Uh, you can see there's a scene here with a um, HDR map. I'm not sure. I'm guessing this is Steam's headquarter. Maybe it's HTC's. I'm going to click. Uh, there's my controller itself. And I can look over here at the uh, material map, which is the whole model mat zero. Um, I'm going to want to edit this file. Right now it's just all white. Uh, so I'll double click that. Um, and I'm going to get rid of my white material and hitting T, I'm going to get a texture, right and left, hold down T, left click. This texture I'm going to set to be my, uh, my 1.5 texture. I'm going to do the same thing and this time I will do my occlusion bake. Um, and one more time I will do my specular. Um, so here we law, uh, the first one is our base color, the second one is our specular map. And the third one is our uh, ambient occlusion. So just for neurotic sake, I will organize these to be on top of each other. We'll save this texture. It's just called hold group model. We'll close that. And now looking at our controller, if I can move around slowly and delicately, 
it looks much more like uh, the physical controller, which I think is nice. So we'll save this, we'll close this, and now we can go back into our Vive Pawn. Uh, hmm, this is not what I want. That's our, yeah, that's our Vive Pawn. This data is a blueprint. Open full blueprint, blueprint editor. There we go. So back to the viewport. So there's a few things we need. One, um, I'm just going to click add a component and I need a camera. Um, and that's fine. Underneath that camera, I'm going to see uh, a motion controller. And we're going to have a motion controller for the left. And I'm going to create another motion controller. And we're going to create a motion controller for the right. Um, and then I'm going to create two static meshes. Static meshes. And this one is static mesh. So one of my meshes is going to be called uh, left, and the other mesh is going to be called right. But you can guess where those go. So the right one goes under our motion controller right. The left one goes under the motion controller left. So I'm just taking them, dragging them, and dropping them on top of the motion controllers. Under the left uh, static mesh, I'm going to set my mesh to be the VR controller. You can see it there. It's actually in the wrong position. Uh, so in clicking into my viewport, I'm going to hit E, and I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees around the z-axis and then 90 degrees around the x-axis so that it is aligned with the camera. Um, the way we think about these are actually as cameras themselves. So a camera has the ability to see things, and ultimately we're going to pretend our handheld motion controllers, our cameras, our cameras can then look at our scene, and by seeing what they um, what they intersect with, that will be ultimately our teleportation location. I'm going to do that one more time with the right controller, so I'm going to set a static mesh, um, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'll rotate it around the z-axis, and then ultimately around the x-axis, and it snaps to 90 degrees. So now we have both of those in the correct position, um, and we're able to use this camera as our motion controllers. So let's see here. Then the other thing I'm going to do is uh, selecting uh, both of my controllers. I'm going to say collision presets, uh, no collision. That's important because uh, as I'm moving these things around, um, I'm okay with them kind of moving through walls and objects and floors and ceilings um, because that's how I'm going to move about the level. We'll have to deal with collisions a little later on where we can intersect a teleportation location. Uh, but with that, I'm going to save and compile. Um, I'm going to close this, and I'm going to put our Vive Pawn into the world. You can see I get a little preview there. And under World Settings, if you need that, you can go to Window World Settings. I'm going to set our World Settings to Vive Game Mode. Um, and just simply doing that, I should be able to go to a VR preview um, and see the controllers. That's my first test. It's not going to move or anything, but they should be tracked. So I'll say VR Preview. And uh, the reason I had one controller, I'm uh, making an edit to the video, uh, is I have two of these things set up here. And under my left controller, you can see here, motion controller, hand was set to left. Under my right controller, it was also sent to left. So we couldn't track two things when they were the same variable. So I set this one to right, save, compile, and close this window. We can relaunch VR, and there you can already see there's two controllers floating there um, and two shadows on the ground. So. Uh, um, in our second video, we're going to look at how we start to pull the location of those uh, cameras, which are motion controllers, and use them to teleport forward. That's coming up next.